Karen Bardsley, England and Manchester City women goalkeeper. <laughs> if I had to describe myself in three words, I'd have to say, it's not job one or two words. <laughs> I first became a goalkeeper when I was about five or six years old. I would say it kind of found me because I didn't mind rolling around in the mud or getting dirty or having balls kicked in my general direction. What I really enjoy about goalkeeping is just the challenge of you only have so many opportunities to actually make an impact on the game. You know, they're far and few in between, so you know, you kind of have to make the most of the situation. But I, I just really love throwing myself around and making saves, making a, a top class save for, for, for me. Is it just as good as scoring a goal? So that's what I love about it, just making awesome saves. Karen Bosley's been excellent in this first half. It's that, it's that satisfaction, I think, when you do make a game changing save or you know you've played really well and you kept a clean sheet. But Bosley stands up well. One of my favorite things is watching the expression on an attacker's face when they think that they've scored and then you, you just come out of nowhere and make a save. Or you know the opposition's coach, you know the oh moment when they think that they've scored and actually you've completely stopped it. An equally fine save by Karen Bosley. Oh what a save! If someone makes a great save, no matter who it is, it's just like, yeah, that was a great save. And it's a lot of fun, it's, it's lighthearted, it's competitive. Everyone wants to do the best that they can, and in turn, everyone's going to get better because of it. Top work. Really good work. I would say that the last year and a half, two years, has been a really good time for myself and Ken's. And, you know, he's just so, he's so keen to to be the best that he can he can be. And I think that's really, you know, infectious. And the, the thing is, at the end of the day, like we want to keep the ball at the back of the net. And sometimes it's unorthodox and sometimes it doesn't look pretty, but it's about making saves. And at the end of the day, like we can have a discussion about how ugly the save was, as long as you're not picking it up out of the back of the neck. He wants to make sure that he's given us the best opportunity to be prepared, you know, going into games and going into tournaments. You get up, go that way. I hate, I hate conceding. I, I really hate it, you know, especially if it's a, a sloppy goal or if I make a mistake, it really does my head in. I get frustrated when a, the goals go in, but I find it more as a, an opportunity to prevent the next one because it's a learning, a learning moment. So I like to make a mistake. We just got to get up and bail ourselves out of it. Do you know what I mean? Don't dwell on, don't dwell on goals that go in. We've got another minute to affect it. I would say, first and foremost, you have to you have to do what you love, you know. So if you if you really love goalkeeping, then then, then follow it, you know. Research it, uh, watch top goalkeepers. It's a position inherently built or created to prevent the the, oper the, the other team from scoring, you know. And that is the object of the game is to score, you know. So you're essentially just trying to to, to mess up the whole game for everyone else, you know what I mean? So the point is to put the ball past you and you know you have to make room to accept that sometimes it's going to happen. I think people have to remember that you're not perfect. As a kid if you get down and you're conceding it's just like where, how is this an opportunity for me to get better and how can I prevent this from happening again? So that's probably the best advice I can give anyway. Just. Make sure you have fun, that's the big thing.